there, I'm Bailey and welcome back to my channel. I had a lot of requests to show you all how to make seamless designs, whether these are seamless pattern designs for items such as digital papers or tumbler wraps. So I wanted to go ahead and just uh, make this quick video and show you how I make my seamless designs, both for tumblers and for digital papers. So a first thing I'll show you is the difference between a seamless design and a not seamless design. So for tumblers, uh, most customers prefer the design to be seamless and when they mean seamless it means that either both ends of the design of the tumbler and if you just think of it kind of like as a rectangle and I picked a poor example because I don't have the square on that one I'll show you a different one that makes better sense um, okay so if you think of the design as a square like this which is how you create it the seamless tumbler designs that most people ask for mean that the design meets on both ends, meaning it's continuing. This applies for digital papers as well, which I have this example up in my store, meaning if you were to put these next to each other over and over again, the pattern would repeat itself indefinitely. So that is what they mean when they want a seamless design or ask if it is seamless. It either means the pattern meets or the object meets with the other side, creating the effect where there won't be a part of the design that is cut off. The example of a design that is not seamless, and I'm actually looking for one right here, this is one of my designs. This is the front of the design. It's a nurse design. If you move it around to the back, you will see that the design right here has a line because it doesn't, if you can actually see it, it's not repeating, meaning it's a different image on this side than this side, and it's kind of like off. Now, it doesn't matter as much on this type of design because it's meant to look like that with the animal print scattered in and out. So um, that type of design, they usually do not care, but it's these kinds of designs where they want the full effect to be around the design where there is no harsh line when they make them, it would show ghosting more so on an image that has different lines. So uh, to keep it simple, it, it mostly, or you can do a design that is white based. I'm trying to find one here, meaning the background is white or transparent so that there won't be a line at all because the image never touches the other side. So a good example of that would be, let's see, and a lot of people like these, especially new sublimation crafters because they don't have to worry about matching up an image. So to the other side, because it can be very difficult when you're wrapping these with the paper and pressing them. If once you have a lot of practice, it gets easier, but if not, and here's a good example. So this design has a white, it's just a trans, it was a created as a PNG transparent image. So there is nothing on the ends. It's kind of a little, here's the full image, but they don't have to try to line anything up with the other side of the design at all because there it, it never touches. So um, everything was kept this way on purpose. They don't have to try to match the other side of the design. So if you are trying to create a pattern of say florals or objects and you want them to be repeating so that they can line up and you get the full effect of the tumbler being fully wrapped, the way that I create those in Majority, and this will be the same in whatever AI tool that you use to create these, or if you actually make a, a seamless pattern in Canva manually, you can do that as well, or there's other types of AI tools that just create patterns. But for this example, I put in three different variations, 
And the main thing is with Mid Journey is you just want to have this, uh, whatever they call this, I don't even know what it's really called, the dash dashes when you're putting in something, some specific parameter, I think that's what it's called. So I had put in apples and pencil pattern, bright boho colors, dash tile. Tile just means repeating so that it will be a design that continues to repeat. This one was a little bit longer. I wanted all these boho wildflowers, pastel tones, whimsical, etc. dash dash tile. This one, I don't know how this came out with this, but it still kind of looked cool anyway, so I ended up upscaling it as well. So the next step to B, and this is optional, but I do recommend you do it just to make sure because sometimes the AI can mess up and it won't truly be a seamless design. So just save the image. And then you'll want to go over to a website like this and there are several out there so you can choose whichever one you'd like but this one is just patternchecker.com and you'll just upload your image and i even do this before i upscale it just to make sure and it's showing you how it would look if you just stacked these next to each other one after another you can adjust it up or down but as you can see it is a seamless design if you were to put them next to each other, they'll keep repeating and match and line up perfectly. So let's go ahead and try the wildflowers and the little feather cloud things. And you can tell this one is good. You'll be able to tell right away if it's not, there'll be all kinds of harsh lines and the images won't line up with each other. And here's the little fluffy cap cloud things. So I am going to use this, I don't know, who might need this type of feather rainbow design, but I think it's really cool and it does have like a 3D effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. But um, for a Tumblr design, what you would do next is create your design in whatever software that you create. Well, first you would need to upscale this. So let's not forget that. I'm gonna just go ahead and do this just so you guys can see some from start to finish how you would do this. So let's go ahead and save that new project and i'm just going to go ahead and do this in kittle quickly change my size to a 20 ounce tumbler size right here which is 9.3 by 8.2 and change this to 300 and create so this is my canvas now and then i'll go ahead and upload the uh, upscaled design and i could have created this in mid journey the correct size uh which is like 2000 by 17 something but they work if you do it as a square you just have to stretch it the correct way so you can't um move it you have to just move it from the corner down to the uh far right and it will cut off the bottom but the bottom doesn't matter because if you change it like you move it that way all the way out and you have all of this extra space right here it's not seamless now because it won't line up correctly so you just want to bring it till it actually brings it in right there and then that's it so i'm going to go ahead and just play with the colors just a little bit adjusting it not too much because it's pretty good I just want a little bit more contrast there. And then this is good to go. So I would just download this as a PNG and then mock this up on a Tumblr. And I'll show you that real quick just so you can see the full effect. I don't wanna do that. And you don't have to mock up your Tumblrs in Photoshop. I just do mine here, but because they're smart objects and they just look a little bit more realistic, I think, than the Canva ones, which is why I do it in here and I should have renamed that and there you go now it is mocked up you can also do a flat lay design like I do on most of mine just so they can see the full image and if it is a seamless design or not that way I don't run into any customer service issues later when people message and say I thought it was seamless or they didn't know or they think this one bad example didn't have the flat lay mock-up there but most of mine do have a flat lay mock-up as well just so like I said there's no questions later so this is a good example of another seamless design even though it's a blue background it's still blue it will match with the other side of the blue on the other when you wrap the cup and it's on the back of the image hopefully this made sense and if not let me know if you would like further clarification on making the seamless patterns thanks for watching